Bonus, I will get the November reward for my Pokemon stuff. Not bonus, I will get another Sukuin before the end of the month. It's not damp outside. That means it's not waning. <clears throat> it was a little bit misty while I was out on my walk yesterday, but I wasn't like drenched by the time I got home. Shut up. Little Joe posted something about a bird making noise. <laughs> so yeah, our friend Joe back in the States, he posted something that he felt accomplished when like, he said something to like a duck and it quacked back at him. And I was like, dude, you need to get over here. The seagulls laugh at my jokes. They're not even good jokes. He's like, you must teach me your wisdom. I was like, don't be around your silent freaking North American animal. The birds around here are noisy. Like, they give no hells about being just the most annoying thing whatsoever. The seagull is so damn stupid. It almost ran into that lady's car. Oh, your Snapchat yesterday. Well, a lot of people who watch this don't have you on Snapchat, and that was great. Oh God, what was it? So I'm not sure if it's really cute or really sad when birds will do stupid stuff, like popping upstairs one by one. Is it trying to be cute? Is it just being cute? Or is it just being dumb and not realizing it can fly? Was it inside? Yeah. That might be, they could be thinking they don't have enough room, so they're just gonna hop up the stairs. I've seen them do it. The fact, I, and to be fair, cute. that little walkway, I think the, the only stairs I know of that the, a bird would be walking up, it was at Amstel, right? Yeah. Yeah, is really closed in in the top. So that by their nature, they probably don't think they have enough room to fly. So I got a comment last night that Ice Knight, he's actually really admiring the architecture of our walk in the morning. And I'm like, oh, sure, I guess. That works. I mean, I understand that it's not necessarily the library, but probably buildings like that. And that one's down there. And a little bit of the manor up yeah. here. But that's just the, almost the architectural dissonance that I've got. Because back in the States, at least in Portland, they'll just like, they don't do that. They won't like put something semi-modern right next to something super old. <laughs> like this building. It's used to be a hospital. Now it's a trendy, 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 and when I say it multiple times, it's exponentially trendy hotel. What I mean by that is I'm saying if, her, if there are hipsters that came from Portland, they'd look at this hotel and go, oh, this is a bit much. <laughs> yeah. It is so, like I took the 3D tour on the inside and I was just like, oh, oh, this makes the Pearl District look like what they act it to be, the poor area. Mm. Or Hawthorne, either one really. Doing enough like Dutch lessons and over time doing German lessons, I look at words and I almost, my brain forces dyslexia and I don't want to dig on anyone who has dyslexia, but it like, it anagrams them into something similar that I understand. So I was looking at the right So I was looking at the sign that says Slaughter Dyke and my brain went Star Lord? No, that that's not right. <laughs> There's a beer can in that one. Do I do I get more points if I make it all the way inside the beer can? Push button. We can technically go. I just making sure they knew. So before Aaron heads on his bus, we have a little announcement about his work and all what he's been doing recently. So I've been doing multi-channel digital analytics for one business group within Phillips. Okay. But I was supposed to only do that part-time, half-time, technically. Okay. What's going to start happening on the first, or the second, technically, is I'm going to be working still with Phillips with a different department doing similar stuff, getting them up to speed, but I have to do it from Eindhoven. Which is like an hour away from Amstel, which is great. He has a direct train out to Amstel and stuff, so 
I think you have a 30. No, I don't know. Well, I saw two buses after this. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> I don't think it can get any darker <laughs> on my way to practice. <laughs> oh, look, it's a light. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. <laughs> The camera for like a solid like 10 seconds was like, um, is your shutter closed? <laughs> yeah. So, I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. Um, a lot of guys are going to practice but without their pads. This is on the pads. Mar Ben Air. <sighs> without pads, but I'll be there. Okay. So yeah, that's what's going on with that. I've been talking with Willie. Nobody in Europe's biting on his thing, on his plugs for Euro players and her Facebook messages. It sucks. Because either they don't check it or they see his thing and then they just immediately go to his profile and he doesn't have college film, so they're like, whatever. They don't actually look at his film and it's the fact that it's you know, the fact that he can roast D1 through NIAA, NAIA athletes. <laughs> and that a lot of the guys that these teams were mostly bench warmers and they have like, I don't know, it's, it sucks. And it's just the way the world is, at least in America, when it comes down to trying to get a job. You can have five, ten years job experience, on the job experience, you're like, you know, factory, you're missing fingers or something, you know, you've got absolute, you've got proof that you know what the hell you're doing, but you can still lose a job application to someone with a college degree. Because that's kind of the crappy thing, is I know people who have gone um, to like, uh, into a trade and they've not taken out student loans, they've got mild credit card debt, um, or, you know, they work their way up and they work their way up through a system and they have, like I said, mild credit card debt, they're making payments on a car, that effectively is debt, but anyways, you know, they're not like deep in debt and they're very successful, you know, got a decent apartment, all that jazz. And then they go for a job and then some kid, kid, you know, some 22 year old with a bachelor's degree can take a job away from you because, well, they have a college degree and you don't. It's, it's, and that's the thing is these guys have the idea that they are on a college roster and even practicing, you know, and maybe getting in a game or two and having some film. Awesome. At a D2 school? Oh, that's amazing. Well, Willie went to a D1 school. He went to San Jose State, you know, and then he went to some JUCOs, not necessarily athletic decisions um, and so but that's the thing in the states is academic decisions tarnish your athletic decisions whereas here it's not that you can go to college Hochschule that's Hochschule or you know all those things and then you just pay your dues to a club I know you guys can't see me for jack crap and I'm just talking I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to record afterwards It'd be so dark and it's somewhat rainy and I thought I'd get this a little bit off my chest that it's just so frustrating that I've seen him for five years just roasting people left and right and I know like I know he would mess the hell up of the GFL too he would you know they just he doesn't have the keyword on his resume and they're not looking at him like, he could roast everybody in Brazil and they wouldn't look at him because he has no college experience. And that's a lot of the problem I had trying to get jobs, is I was in my late 20s and had some college. And it just shows, oh, you flunked out. It's just, it's stupid. I don't like it. And that's how things go. So we're gonna fast forward maybe to the end of practice and see if I'm doing any, see if I'm talking about anything after practice. My right knee is a little bit funky, and my shoulder is a little bit wink, a little bit funky, but it's just been popping a lot. I'm not sure about that. Maybe if I, mm, nah. Um, here at Hilfasam. Oops, this, the gel worked really well. 
Um, I need uh, sugar. My sugar. Man, it's like 10.30 at night. It's surprisingly there's a lot of things open still. I mean, look at that. That is very blue on this camp. The next thing to arrive is 2245 Amsterdam Central. It says plus five minutes. <laughs> no. What is causing such a... The bus earlier said something about winter tide. Winter tide. So I need to check that out. It might have just been telling me that there's something fun going on for winter time. But I had good practice. We went team. Bono was here and we had Yos. So we were cycling linebackers. Plus, you know, Yori will probably come into games. So we have five cycling linebackers. That's good. Keeps us all relatively fresh. Put us in a different positions. Bono can maybe go in for D-line also because he's just very, very, very big. <laughs> oh, I got it. Mm, I'm sliding. I'm sliding down. I'm sliding down. Oh, oh, look at that belly. Yeah, I eat so much sugar. I'm gonna sign up for the night. I'm gonna eat my sugar. And I'm gonna go home. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Signing off.